G'day guys, my name's Dave Tran and welcome to another Throwback Thursday edition of a Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in today's lesson I'll be teaching you how to play Drive by Incubus. Now this song at its core is quite simple, but there are very unique chord shapes and the strumming pattern is a little bit tricky, but if you really break it down it's not too hard. It was actually one of the first songs I learnt when I was picking up the guitar. Now for the main riff that's used in the verse and also the choruses, we have four chord shapes. Now if you want to master your chords back to front then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. For our four chord shapes we start with an E minor. Now the way we play this E minor is going to be a little different to what you're normally used to. For this E minor you'll play the 7th fret of your 5th string the ninth fret of the fourth string with your ring finger and with your middle finger you'll pluck the eighth fret of the second string. Now the third string should be open and same with the first string. So you gotta make sure that your fingers are up and allowing those notes to ring out. You can strum all the strings and that's our E minor shape. Our second chord shape for this verse chorus is called an E minor 9. For this E minor 9, we start with our middle finger on the 7th fret of the 5th string. Our index finger will go on the 5th fret of the 4th string. And our ring and pinky finger will go on the 7th fret of the 3rd and 2nd strings. And you can just leave the 1st string muted there. And that's E minor 9. Our third chord shape is a C major 7, so to play that, index finger on the 3rd fret of the 5th string. Your ring finger goes on the 5th fret of the 4th string middle finger goes on the 4th fret of the 3rd string and your pinky goes on the 5th fret of the 2nd string. You don't want to hit the 6th string either. That's C major 7 and finally the 4th chord shape is an E minor A. So from this C major 7 chord position you're going to leave your ring and pinky finger where they are and your middle finger will go onto the 5th fret of the 6th string. So you're pushing down on the 6th, 4th and 2nd strings on the 5th fret and that's E minor slash A. So to recap our 4 chords we have our E minor, E minor 9, C major 7 and E minor slash A. Now be sure to refer to the tab up here because it's really going to help understanding how this riff goes. So we're going to start with our E minor chord shape, we're going to pluck the 6th string and then we're going to pluck the 4th string with an up pick. So like that. And then we're going to strum the whole chord with a down, down, up. Now after that, we're going to need to mute all the strings and we're going to strum a muted down, up. And that's all continuous as well. So it's down, down, up, down, up. And one more time. Down, down, up, down, up. And to mute the strings, the best thing to do is just lift your fingers up off the fretboard and just rest them lightly on top, not pushing them down. And so far we have this. Down, up, down, up. Whilst you're doing the muting, you want to start moving to your next chord shape. So you can move to your next chord shape whilst lightly resting your fingers on the strings so that you can still get that muted sound. So we get to our E minor 9 and you're going to be plucking just the 5th string by itself and then you're going to strum the chord with a down, down, up. And that's it for the first line. So to recap, Now that exact same structure is going to apply to our next two chords. There's some minor changes but the essential structure is exactly the same and the strumming patterns too. So when we go to our C major 7 we're going to be plucking the bass note which is the 5th string and then we're going to pluck the 4th string and then we're going to play that strumming pattern again which goes down, down, up, down, up. So those last two strums are again muted. And to mute, you lift your fingers off the strings and just lightly rest them on top so nothing rings out. Down, down, up, down, up. And as you're muting, you're going to be moving to your next chord shape, which is the E minor slash A. And then you're just going to pluck the bass note of that, which is the sixth string, and then strum it with a down, down, up. So the second line has the exact same structure and it sounds like this. Down, down, up, down, up. So now I'm going to play the full riff on a loop with the really slow metronome so you can see exactly what's being played and then I'm going to play it at the full speed.
Now we get to the pre-chorus and it's really easy. There's only two chord shapes here. We have a C major seven, which is played like this. So, so we have our ring finger on the third fret of the fifth string, middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And we're just gonna play from the fifth string onwards. And that's C major seven. And our second chord is going to be an A7. So from this position, you leave your middle finger where it is, you lift your ring finger and place it on the second fret of the second string. And you're gonna strum from the fifth string onwards, and that's A7. So in terms of strumming pattern, each chord is going to have a different strumming pattern. For the first chord, the C major seven, we're going to have down, down, up, down, down. And one more time. And for our A7, our strumming pattern is down, down, up, down, 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 down. One thing we need to add is a pull off the second fret of the second string on some particular strums. Now I've highlighted them here. There's two strums where when we strum, we need to pull off our ring finger like that. And then our next strum is going to be the same shape with our ring finger off. So the last four down strums for this A7 sound like this. Down, 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 down. Notice how the highlighted strums, I pull off my finger off that A7 and the full strumming pattern for the A7. Down, down, up, down, 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 down. Now you play those two chords four times, but for the very last time, that A7 is just held out by itself. And the total pre-chorus will sound like this. That's everything for the rhythm, and now I'm going to just teach you the solo for the song. To start the solo off, we're going to slide our middle finger from the 3rd fret to the 5th fret of the 2nd string, but we're going to be plucking the 1st and 2nd strings all together, so that open 1st string will be played as well. You slide up like that, and you're going to pluck this position another 3 times, hitting the 1st and 2nd strings at the same time. Then you go to the 7th fret of the 1st string, you go to the 5th fret, and you slide down to the 3rd fret, and then you pluck the 3rd fret again, go back to the 5th fret, then we go to the 3rd fret of the 2nd string, hit the 5th fret of 2nd string, then we're going to hammer on from 3rd to 5th, back to 3rd, and then we're going to do two sets of hammer-ons from the 3rd fret to the 5th fret. That's one set, and then another set, like that. So the first line so far sounds like this. 7, slide, 3, For the second line, we go to our third fret of the fifth string, fifth fret, pluck it again, and then slide up to the seventh fret, hit the seventh fret again, down to fifth, then we go to the tenth fret of the first string, back down to seven, five, seven, and then we jump down to the third fret of the second string with a hammer on to the fifth, back to the third fret twice, fifth and then hammer on again from 3rd to 5th, back to 3rd. Everything we have so far for the 2nd line. 10, 7, 5, 7. For this last run, we start on the 5th fret of the 1st string, hold that out, and then the rest of the notes are all consecutive. There's no pauses in between them. So 5th fret, 3rd fret twice, down to the 5th fret twice of the 2nd string, 3rd fret of the 2nd string, 4th fret of the 3rd string, down to the 2nd fret of the 3rd string twice, and then back up to the 4th fret twice.
and that whole run in total. And the full solo. Alright, so now I'm going to be playing the whole song in its entirety. I'm going to have a vocal track on top for some context. So feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to practice, play along to, and see how you go. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video, it's a really fun song to play and a bit of a challenge, so enjoy.
Make sure you head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. It'd mean the world if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell so that you don't miss out on any updates. I'd love to hear your thoughts, comments, questions, and requests below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero.